world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I've shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I have given my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. And finally, I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism. And the reason for that is because I'm trying to create my own work portfolio. And in fact, I am planning on... Yeah, gaining some new film skills and learning those on my own and learning how to edit things and also get a hold of equipment at Georgia State University because A, I'm enrolled there again and B, I also happen to work at Georgia State. But I will tell you about that in, on another time. So, I first off wanted to apologize to all of my fans and subscribers that, that enjoy listening to my blogs and enjoy sharing them around. Uh, but I just haven't been in the mood to blog. At the same time, I was uh, gathering ideas in my head and I was jotting them down on my iPhone. So I hopefully uh, plan on going down that list um, one by one. Now, I'd like to talk about my experiences of living on the autism spectrum and uh, attempting to uh, raise autism awareness with people in our community and our society that are outside of the autism loop. And the name of this vlog is entitled, Expect the External. And I'm pretty sure you guys will pick that up as I continue start telling my story. So, this was uh, in the middle of August, or not August, but October 2013. I had been uh, starting to look for a job, and I had been posting ads on Craigslist, looking to work as, and as a front desk receptionist or some sort of an office, or an office assistant. But I wanted to work in a salon because I thought the environment would be upbeat and fun. And I'm just really outgoing. And yeah, I too, I, I don't have uh, any license in cosmetology, but I do like to cut my hair. And no, I didn't put this red in myself and I didn't give myself the Miley Cyrus, by the way. I ended up having it cut at a beauty school. So, uh, anyway, well, I had gotten a call from a woman down by the airport right here in Atlanta, and uh, she was looking for a receptionist, and she was also looking for a party planner at her salon, which was a kid's salon on one side and an adult salon, adult salon on the other side. So, I decided to go all the way down there, and I did the interview with her, and I decided to tell her down there while it was just us one-on-one -on -one, that I have Asperger's syndrome or um, an autism spectrum disorder. And she immediately went into this little frenzy and she didn't even look at me. She looked at my external sources. And the first thing she asked me was, well, do you have a social worker? Where are your parents? Uh, do you have anybody buying groceries for you? Are you sure you don't have anybody helping you? And I mean, I, I mean, when I heard those things, I was very embarrassed. At the same time, I was able to convince her that I was able to uh, break through all of those barriers, and I had also posed a stereotypical threat. But I had, uh, I had asked Dr. Grandin if it's okay that when the last time she was in town, I asked if it was okay f uh, to. Uh, mention to a potential employer whether or not you had autism and her advice would be to uh, gain some new skills and put together a work portfolio and she said that because technology is so great you can start uh, putting those portfolios on your phone and she said they sh each project should be a uh, three minute demo or something so uh, either way I just wanted to mention I mean I think it's really a pain in the butt that you have to uh, tell people that you have a disability and they automatically start thinking, oh, she's so disabled, they're, they so, they're so disabled, we feel sorry for them. So, if you have any questions or comments about this uh, commentary, about what I had to say, uh, please be sure to comment below. Until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.